Introducing Julius AI, a data analytics tool which leverages OpenAI's GPT-4 to provide automated data analysis and insights into your business data. With just a few clicks, users can upload data, generate summaries and visualizations, identify trends and anomalies, forecast future performances, and more. Here is the dashboard. Before we upload our Excel sales data, let's look at the AI settings. Here, we can choose between OpenAI's GPT-4, which is good for complex statistical analysis, or Anthropic's Cloud, that is good for summarizing documents. Obviously, we'll go for GPT-4 as we will be focused on analysis. Next, we have different personas to choose from. For this case, we will go with sales as we will be analyzing sales data. We shall leave the instructions and tone as suggested, then save. Next, we shall upload our Excel file. Note, here you also have the option to share from URL for Google Sheets. And once the file has been uploaded, you can prompt the AI to load your files. You will notice it will generate the Python code, which you can reference later or copy and paste to use elsewhere. Then show an output of the file. This displays the first five rows and another table with the summary of the descriptive analysis. You have three new options to choose from, either check suggested prompts, visualize or keep going and let the AI decide what to do next or enter your next prompt. Let's go with keep going. The AI suggests handling of missing data. Here we can ask it for its suggestions and the AI allows you to have a conversation with it and eventually ask it to fill the missing values with Mean. The downside to these suggested options is they hide some of the responses, so you're not able to see the response clearly. Next, we can ask about the total sales or analyze sales trends over the time period. Also, identify factors that are most likely affecting your sales performance and any opportunities to improve. Next, we can even look into forecasting. This could be short-term or long-term sales forecast. You can do this for the next quarter, year, or a number of years based on historical sales data and current trends and the results can help you in predicting your future sales. You can even compare the actual sales for the last year with the forecasted sales for the upcoming year and even prompt the AI to explain the basis for the forecasted sales or ask why there was a sudden jump in sales in the 2009 data. A key advantage to Julius AI is its conversational interface. Rather than requiring coding skills, you have a dialogue with the platform, asking questions, requesting analysis, and refining suggestions. It allows both data experts and business users to gain insights through natural interaction. You will get this notification once you run out of the free GPT-4 allocation and get downgraded to GPT-3.5. When I asked the AI how many orders were returned, it said zero because it only read one of the sheets. I then asked how many sheets it could see in the data and it said three. I then prompted it to check the returns sheet to determine the number of orders returned, which it got as 572. I then asked it to visualize the orders returned based on category. And as you can see, it says that it couldn't find the category column, which I resolved by defining a solution to the problem and was then able to generate a pie chart. You can prompt it further or ask more questions or even ask it to generate a scatter plot and interpret the results of the scatter plot. You also have the option to click on suggested prompts, which will give you suggested prompts you could try out yourself. Another approach would be to use the keep going option from the beginning and Julius AI will automatically start analyzing the data. This is an example of how that would look like. In some ways, conversing with Julius mimics working with a data science expert. The platform can handle data preparation, develop hypotheses, produce visualizations, and make recommendations. However, Julia still lacks the contextual awareness and critical thinking of a skilled human data scientist. Once you're happy with your results, you can export them to several formats, including Excel, PDF, and CSV. With the option above here to download your prompts as a document or share the conversation. Note the warning, you're on our worst model. This basically means we have currently exhausted the free GPT-4 allocation and are on GPT-3.5. But even without access to GPT-4, we see how the results are actually good. In summary, Julius AI powered by ChatGPT shows promise as an assistive tool for structured data analysis, but still has some limitations compared to an experienced data scientist. The ease of uploading data and generating initial insights makes it helpful for getting high-level view and exploring datasets. However, the analysis may lack nuance or fail to account for errors in the data. As we saw, the AI struggled to analyze multiple sheets and required guidance to resolve inconsistencies. For now, Julius AI is best used in a supportive role, preparing data summaries, visualizations, 
and baseline forecasts to inform a more rigorous analysis. It facilitates exploratory analysis and can help identify areas for deeper investigation. However, critical thinking is still required to contextualize findings, spot false correlations, account for outliers, and make recommendations. The key is striking the right balance between human and AI capabilities. Julius AI makes basic analysis accessible to everyone while freeing up data scientists to focus on higher level or value work. And that's all for today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.